Every six minutes, someone dies from sudden cardiac death related to sleep disorders in the United States. Your nightly snoring might seem harmless, maybe even a source of jokes between you and your partner, but each episode forces your heart to work overtime, triggers dangerous blood pressure spikes, and slowly damages the very arteries that keep you alive. So in this video, you'll learn seven shocking ways snoring destroys your heart and what you can do about it. You'll learn the exact blood pressure numbers that occur during snoring episodes that would send you straight to the emergency room if they happened while awake. How snoring creates physical vibrations that literally damage your artery walls from the inside. As well as why women with sleep apnea face higher heart risks than men, despite everything you've heard about heart disease affecting men more. If you enjoy this video, remember to click subscribe and turn notifications on to ensure you see our future videos. Every time you snore, your blood pressure spikes to levels that would send you straight to the emergency room if you were awake. A single night of snoring can trigger dozens or even hundreds of these dangerous surges. Research shows these spikes don't just disappear when you wake up. Regular snorers maintain blood pressure readings 4.5 millimeters of mercury higher even during daytime hours. This constant elevation forces your heart to work harder 24-7, not just when you're asleep. The damage accumulates silently over time, weakening your heart muscle and arterial walls. Your body never gets the nighttime blood pressure dip that's essential for cardiovascular recovery. Have you noticed feeling more tired despite sleeping a full night? That fatigue might be your first warning sign of this hidden damage. But blood pressure is just the beginning. The next mechanism is even more surprising. The vibrations from snoring, which range from 50 to 135 hertz, physically damage your carotid artery walls through mechanical trauma. This isn't theoretical, it's measurable tissue damage. These vibrations injure the endothelial cells lining your arteries and speed up atherosclerosis completely independent of oxygen deprivation. It's like subjecting your arteries to mini earthquakes hundreds of times each night. The sound pressure levels often exceed WHO recommended nighttime noise limits, creating physical stress on your cardiovascular system. This mechanical damage happens even in people who don't have full-blown sleep apnea. Your body responds to this trauma by creating inflammatory markers and stress hormones that further damage your heart. The louder and more frequent your snoring, the more severe this damage becomes. Have you ever wondered why some snorers develop heart problems despite having healthy lifestyles? This vibration damage explains the mystery. And speaking of mysteries, the next risk factor affects women much more than men. Contrary to what a lot of people believe, women with sleep apnea have 30% higher cardiovascular risks than men with the same condition. This completely contradicts the common assumption that snoring and sleep apnea primarily threaten men's heart health. Women often develop different symptoms of sleep apnea, like insomnia, depression, or morning headaches, rather than the classic loud snoring. This means their condition frequently goes undiagnosed until serious cardiovascular damage has occurred. The hormonal differences between men and women actually make women more vulnerable to the heart-damaging effects of interrupted breathing during sleep. Estrogen, which normally protects women's hearts, can't overcome the stress of repeated oxygen drops. For women approaching or past menopause, this risk increases dramatically as natural hormonal protection reduces. The combination of hormonal changes and undiagnosed sleep breathing issues creates a perfect storm for heart attacks. Does someone in your life dismiss their snoring because it's just what men do? They need to know about the next deadly mechanism. When your oxygen saturation falls to 78% during sleep where normal is 100%, your risk of sudden cardiac death increases dramatically. This oxygen deprivation forces your heart to work harder, while simultaneously depriving it of the oxygen it needs. A Mayo Clinic study found that 20 or more breathing pauses per hour combined with severe oxygen drops created the highest risk profile for sudden death. During these episodes, your heart becomes electrically unstable, creating the perfect conditions for fatal arrhythmias. Your brain also suffers during these oxygen drops, triggering emergency adrenaline responses that further stress your cardiovascular system. 
This creates a vicious cycle of stress hormones, inflammation, and heart strain. The added effect of these nightly oxygen drops accelerates aging throughout your entire cardiovascular system. Your heart essentially experiences years of wear and tear in just months. Have you noticed yourself waking up gasping for air? That's your body's desperate try to prevent these dangerous oxygen drops. But the damage isn't limited to just you. There's a shocking impact on your bed partner too. Partners of loud snorers experience 75% sleep disruption and face increased cardiovascular stress from chronic sleep fragmentation. The noise exposure often exceeds 65 decibels, louder than a normal conversation. This secondhand snoring creates measurable increases in blood pressure and stress hormones in the non-snoring partner. Over years of sharing a bed with a snorer, partners develop their own increased risk of heart disease and stroke. The sleep deprivation experienced by bed partners leads to impaired immune function, weight gain, and mood disorders, all of which further increase cardiovascular risk. Many partners report symptoms similar to chronic insomnia. The relationship strain caused by snoring often leads to separate bedrooms, which can create extra psychological stress that impacts heart health. This social dimension of snoring is rarely discussed, but has serious health implications. Do you or your partner use earplugs to cope with snoring? That might block the noise, but it doesn't protect against the next deadly mechanism. Snoring increases your stroke risk by 46%. With the risk directly proportional to snoring intensity, the louder and more frequent your snoring, the higher your stroke risk becomes. The carotid arteries that run through your neck, right where the snoring vibrations are strongest, supply blood to your brain. The damage to these vessels creates the perfect conditions for blood clots and plaque buildup that can trigger a stroke. Heavy snorers who experience their first heart attack have dramatically higher death rates than non-snorers. The pre-existing damage to their cardiovascular system makes them less able to survive a cardiac event. The combination of high blood pressure, arterial damage, and oxygen fluctuations creates a triple threat to your brain's blood vessels. This explains why many stroke victims report a history of untreated snoring. Have you noticed memory problems or morning headaches? These might be early warning signs of this stroke risk, but there's one more risk that affects a surprising population. Between 30 to 60% of obese children have sleep apnea, with cardiovascular impacts equivalent to moderate adult sleep apnea. These effects can continue into adulthood if left untreated. Children with sleep-disordered breathing show early signs of heart damage, including thickened heart walls and altered blood pressure patterns. Their developing cardiovascular systems are especially vulnerable to the stresses of disrupted breathing. The hormonal and metabolic changes caused by childhood sleep apnea create the foundation for lifelong heart disease risk. Many adults with heart problems had undiagnosed sleep breathing issues as children. Early intervention can reverse much of this damage, but most parents don't recognize snoring as a serious medical issue in children. They mistake the symptoms for behavioral problems or normal childhood sleep patterns. Does your child snore regularly? This could be setting them up for heart problems decades later. Now that you understand the dangers, here's what actually works to protect your heart. Weight loss is your most powerful weapon against snoring-related heart damage. Just a 5-10% reduction in body weight can reduce sleep apnea severity by 31% and significantly lower cardiovascular risk. The mechanism is fascinating. Fat loss specifically reduces tongue fat, which is a primary cause of airway obstruction during sleep. This targeted fat loss opens the airway more effectively than many medical interventions. For position-dependent snorers, side sleeping devices reduce sleep apnea by 54% and supine sleep time by 84%. These simple tools prevent the tongue and soft tissues from collapsing backward during sleep. Daily throat exercises, just 15 minutes of oropharyngeal workouts, reduce snoring intensity by 36% and sleep apnea severity by 28%. These exercises strengthen the muscles that keep your airway open during sleep. For moderate to severe cases, CPAP therapy remains the gold standard, with 70-80% to long-term success when properly fitted. 
The cardiovascular benefits begin after just one night of treatment. The research clearly shows that treating snoring provides immediate heart benefits, including reduced blood pressure, decreased inflammation, and lower risk of heart attack and stroke. With proper treatment, you can literally add years to your life. If you're taking steps to protect your heart, it's just as important to recognize the daily habits that might be harming it. Watch our video, 7 Worst Habits That Cause Fatal Heart Attacks, to uncover the surprising routines that quietly damage your heart and the simple changes that can save your life. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, because your next healthy habit could start with our next video.